I'm in court number four, the Lord Chief Justice's Court in the Court of Appeal. The Lord Chief Justice is the most senior judge in England and Wales. And the fact that I'm here being filmed by a camera is extraordinary because for many, many years it's been against the law to bring cameras into court and to film. What's going to happen is that appeal cases will be filmed. Uh, we'll be able to see a variety of things. Not this, however. This is where those who are appealing against their sentence or against their conviction uh, will be. We're not allowed to film them. But what we can film is the benches down here in the well of the court where the lawyers will sit with their books and their briefs and where they will argue the appeal cases with the judges who sit up there. We've also got in this court a whole new species of journalist, uh, a court video journalist. Now, because of the restrictions that are placed on uh, this first experiment in filming, he has to make sure, for instance, that if the name of a child is mentioned, if the name of a victim in a sexual assault case is mentioned, or if there is a graphic description of a sexual act, that those things are not broadcast. It's his job to make sure that that does not happen. We've got a system of time delays, uh, which basically allows me to interrupt the broadcast and ensure that anything that shouldn't go out doesn't go out. Um, we've got this, this is our, our momentary delay, that's for the odd swear word, or if a lawyer inadvertently mentions the name of a victim in a sex case, um, that will just take the odd word out. Then we've got this little black box here, um, which is a 70 second delay, we call it the judge's delay. It allows the judges to consider whether something is confidential or whether legal arguments shouldn't be broadcast. And it, once we flick that switch, that uh, obliterates the last 70 seconds and anything up until the point where you flip that switch back again. Now, this is an experiment. It's really the early stages of filming in our courts, but if it is successful, then we can expect to see cameras not only here in the Court of Appeal, but in the Crown Courts below and perhaps even the Magistrates' Courts below them. This is a very dramatic moment in terms of opening up the justice system, making it more visible, more understandable, uh, and making sure that all of us can understand it a little bit better.